Hello and welcome to an explanation in physical chemistry. Today I'm going to explain to you exercise 10.118, so let's get started. Our given information are the following. Cyclopropane, a gas used with oxygen as a general anesthetic, is composed of 85.7% carbon and 14.3% hydrogen by mass. The first question is the following. If 3.61 gram of cyclopropane has a volume of 2 liters at 1.05 atmospheric pressure and 25 degrees Celsius, what is the molecular formula of cyclopropane? So at first we need to convert all data we need for our calculation the correct as I units. So the 3.61 gram can stay as it is. The 2 liters need to be converted into cubic meter so we multiply it by 10 to the power of minus 3 to get cubic meters. The atmospheric pressure of 1.05 need to be converted into Pascal. So we multiply it by 1. Dot, so we multiply 1.05 atm by 101,325 to get Pascal and we get 106,392.25 Pascal. The 25 degrees Celsius need to be converted into Kelvin, so we just add 273.15 and get 298.15 Kelvin. In the second step we calculate the correct amount of substance of cyclopropane. We do this by using the ideal gas law, which should be familiar to everyone, but short explained. The P stands for pressure, the V for the volume, the N for the amount of substance, the R for the gas constant, and T for temperature. To get the amount, to get the right amount of substance, we divide it by N and insert all data we just converted in our correct SI units. And by inserting the data right, as you can see it here, we get an amount of substance of 0 0.086 mole. In the next step, we calculate the molar mass of cyclopropane. Therefore, we need the mass and the amount of substance to calculate the molar mass. So we convert the accretion to the molar mass by dividing the amount of substance and insert the data in the correct in the equation and we get a molar mass of 41.977 gram per mole. In the last step we determine the molecular formula. So we need to assume one mole of cyclopropane and by the given information of 85.7% carbon and 14.3% hydrogen, we can calculate that carbon equals 35.974 grams and hydrogen equals 6.00 grams. In the last step, we divide the mass of C and H or carbon and hydrogen by its atomic mass. The atomic mass can be seen in the periodic system and get the final formula of C3H6. The second question, judging from its molecular formula, would you expect cyclopropane to deviate more or less than our A from ideal gas behavior at moderately high pressures and room temperature? Explain. We can answer this question by looking at the ideal gas behavior or looking at the ideal gas law. And the ideal gas law ignores all intermolecular attractions. So to determine if cyclopropane or argon deviates more or less from the ideal gas behavior, we need to know which gas is more complex and has more intermolecular attractions. Cyclopropane molecules are larger and more structurally complex and got more intermolecular attraction than argon molecule. And that's why cyclopropane deviates more from ideal gas behavior and argon matches the ideal gas behavior better. Our last question is the following. 
would cycle for pain if you threw a pinhole faster or more slowly than methane CH4. The rate of effusion through a pinhole is inversely related to molar mass and that's why we just need to calculate the molar masses of cyclopropane and methane. So we look at our atomic masses of carbon and hydrogen in the periodic system. We multiply it by the number of C and H atoms and get our molar mass of 42 grams per mole cyclopropane and 16 gram per mole methane and you can see that the that cyclopropane is heavier and that's why cyclopropane if uses slower through a pinhole of its greater molar mass. That was my explanation. I hope you understood everything and I see you in the next video.